Hi, my name is Bella, and today I'd like to explain how liquid goods in closed or open containers such as syringes, vials, bags, and ampoules can be sterilized. The products are placed on the designated trolley, the trolley is pushed into the steam sterilizer, the door is closed, and the appropriate program is selected. And that's what happens next. First, the chamber walls must be heated up. Therefore, steam is passed through the channels outside the chamber. If the walls are not heated first, the steam needed later inside the chamber for sterilization would condense and cause the products to be sterilized to become wet. Then hot steam is released into the chamber so pressure and temperature rise. As air, which is still in the chamber, is a really good insulator, we need to avoid that air blocks steam to get in touch with the product to be sterilized. That's why the ventilator is used to circulate the steam-air mixture in the chamber to allow the hot steam to reach all places. The steam-air mixture is sucked upwards in the middle and directed downwards at the sides for an efficient circulation. The heat kills all microorganisms. Depending on the product to be sterilized, the duration of this phase can be adapted. After the sterilization phase, the cooling registers are used to cool the steam-air mixture down. The ventilator is used for this step to push the hot mixture along the cold water pipes. Compressed air is put in additionally to increase the pressure and avoid boiling of the liquids during the cooling process. This is the most efficient way of cooling the goods and the sterilizer. The doors can now be opened and the trolley with the dry products can be taken out.